Well, I was always interested in language as a set of signs and symbols and uh, the graphic side to it, but also as sound, spoken word, and all these different aspects of language that you can play around with and experiment with. And, and uh, there's, there seems to be a kind of respect for, for language. People are sort of afraid to, to misspell something or do something wrong. There's kind of an idea of right and wrong in relation to language, I think coming from uh, education, from, from my years in school. And, and I, I tried to liberate myself, first of all, from that and play around with language in a different way. That um, you can, Maybe you think of artists as someone who's kind of playing with colors and shapes and th things like that. But I think you can some, do the same thing also with words and, and uh, grammar and whatever there is there <laughs> in, in, in different languages. I'm also very interested in these kind of types of slogans and catchphrases and, and things that and, and uh, uh, song lines and things that tend to sort of repeat and and, and, and how in capitalist society there's there's a kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> tendency to try and sort of engrave things on, on on you and you have these kinds of uh, sales slogans and, and, and different messages sort of repeating in your mind and I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, in taking those and taking things that are uh, readily uh, identifiable and sort of reshuffle them and, and, and uh, create something different and, and uh, uh, this idea of the tournament that you have with the situation is that you sort of take something very familiar and, and turn it into something different and kind of similar logic to what you have also with collage and, and, and uh, uh, this, this kind of uh, uh, idea of, of, of uh, reshaping reality uh, according to some other rule or, or, or system or something. I mean, what I, what I do does make sense in relation to my background also. I, I'm, I, I didn't go to art school. I, I studied literature and, and linguistics and, and uh, I was kind of uh, thrown out in, in the real somehow by, 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 by the fact that there actually being no, uh, they haven't been, been able to measure or, or, or uh, formulate a, a theory around how we actually can, how it is that we can actually understand each other. And, and uh, no one really knows like uh, uh, how language travels from one person to another. So there is a kind of instance of, of of magic or of, of witchcraft, I would say, <laughs> in how you sort of, uh, yeah, take your message out there and then somehow it's caught up and misunderstood for sure, but understood in some sense and then people will make of it whatever uh, they, they, they can. And <laughs> that's the hex, I guess, of the text. So my exhibition at the Camden Arts Centre is called Read Tear. In this particular uh, instance it's referring to the room we're in, which is the old reading room of, of uh, when the Camden Arts Centre used to be a public library. And uh, reading rooms are some of my favourite uh, rooms in the world actually. I think there's a kind of sense of uh, uh, concentration and focus when people are studying that somehow uh, fills the room, and I find that very uh, fascinating and uh, inspiring. <laughs> uh, there is a sense of making sense of an exhibition space. I, I, I definitely want to uh, use the space and, and see what I what I can make of it. And, and I, I, I always love uh, writing things around. Uh, uh, corners and stuff to make people sort of circulate uh, around the language and I kind of imagine meaning and phrases to be circulating in their minds as they are physically circulating in the space.